Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I am going to be giving you my Scorpio July 2018 horoscope forecast. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Anyway, uh, first thing up is, well, uh, the Sun will be in Cancer as far as uh, July uh, goes from the 1st until the 22nd. So the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time for Scorpio, there could be a strong uh, focus, uh, concentration of energy, and attention on higher learning, traveling abroad, publishing, in-laws, uh, grandchildren, abstract thinking, philosophy, and religion. Given that this is Cancerian energy, this could be done with a lot of Cancerian tenacity, emotion, sensitivity, intuition, uh, protective energy reasons connected with sympathy, especially for in-laws and grandchildren. Also reasons for our safety and security as well. Anyway, well the next thing up is as far as July goes, the sun will be in Leo uh, from the 22nd until the 31st. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Scorpio. At this time for Scorpio, there could be a strong attention uh, focus, concentration of energy on one's career, uh, reputation, uh, public image, uh, could uh, success, notoriety, recognition, mentoring, uh, mentors, the dominant parent, and authority figures. And this could be done with a lot of uh, Leo-like uh, pride, ferocity, uh, dignity, fortitude, courage, a lot of extravagance, perhaps, uh, spending money on advertising, for example, in order to get recognition, a lot of generosity, and a lot of near-inexorable uh, Leo-like energy uh, at this time as well. Anyway, next thing up is there will be a partial uh, solar eclipse uh, in Cancer on July 12th. So the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Scorpio. At this time for Scorpio, uh, this could be about perhaps a new uh, Cancerian uh, college course uh, at this time. Uh, this could be something connected with, uh, I mean, when you're talking, let me go back first and backtrack. I'm sorry. Uh, as far as a, a solar uh, eclipse goes, um, this could be like an inflated uh, new moon. Or, or an enlargement, it's really could have a more powerful impact and really have a more life altering effect. And it could be about even a chance meeting, perhaps, I believe, as well. Now, anyway, it could reflect a new Cancerian college course. It could be something connected with cooking, uh, culinary, real estate, uh, home improvement, or home renovation, something with water, such as oceanography. Also, it could be about rekindling maybe an, a, a Cancerian connection with an in-law or a grandchild. It could be an actual uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or one that simply embodies Cancerian characteristics. It could also reflect a new period of publishing uh, with a lot of Cancerian uh, tenacity. And I mean, and, and also maybe the start of new global uh, communications uh, with maybe uh, with maybe a Cancer Sun Moon or Ascendant or one or or maybe maybe uh, communi global communications that are pursued with a lot of uh, Cancerian tenacity, emotion, and sensitivity uh, at this time, and it could lead to maybe a very strong and powerful maybe maybe a connection, maybe something someone that has a life altering effect on you. Next thing up is there will be a full moon uh, lunar eclipse uh, in Aquarius on July 27th. So the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted uh, for Scorpio. So at this time for Scorpio, this could be a time for Scorpio where maybe you may become uh, very tired, uh, full, uh, exasperated perhaps at a... Uh, at some, maybe a home or family member, someone you're close to home with, that might be exhibiting really bizarre, unusual, or idiosyncratic behavior. Could be the completion of something you, Aquarius like that you did at home. Uh, that could be something electronics related, something with computers. It could be electronic burglar, a uh, home uh, alarm device. And remember that this is a, a 
full moon lunar eclipse. So this could be another thing that could have very strong, uh, powerful effects uh, on you at this time. And also maybe a very bizarre or unusual revelation regarding your roots and ancestry uh, at this time as well. Maybe even the completion or culmination of maybe setting some kind of unique foundations uh, for yourself and maybe even traditions as well. Next thing up is Mercury will be uh, in Leo uh, this month and uh, it will be retrograde from like the 26th until the 31st. The 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted uh, for Scorpio. So at this time uh, for Scorpio, uh, this could be really about talking with a lot of authority and self-assuredness and confidence, perhaps to authority figures, to the dominant parent, which is often the father. You may find yourself uh, boasting more about your success, your career, uh, your stature in life, uh, thinking more confidently about becoming successful communication, maybe with ferocity even to the people that you are attempting to perhaps mentor. So. Anyway, remember too, though, that Mercury and Leo can energy could be uh, somewhat egotistical at times. So make sure you're not talking like you know everything, especially to somebody in a position of authority. And given that it's going to be retrograde during the latter part of the month, it could be where you might be reviewing uh, extroversion and uh, gregariousness, uh, perhaps in, in communications, maybe with people that uh, impact your uh, maybe your public image, your reputation, perhaps such as promoters in some cases, and even people that the dominant parent and also authority figures. Anyway, next thing up is uh, Venus will be uh, in Leo as far as July goes from the 1st until like the 9th. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Scorpio. At this time for Scorpio, this could be about, in some cases, extravagant spending to improve uh, one's notoriety and uh, recognition at this time, uh, improving one's stature in life. This could also manifest, perhaps, if you are unattached Scorpio, where you might uh, connect with the Leo Sun, Moon, or Ascendant that might have a strong impact uh, on your career at this time, or it might be your reputation in public image. Uh, it could be somebody that you might be mentoring as well. Uh, this could also be maybe the loving, a dominant parent with a lot of Leo-like ferocity and also valuing extroversion and gregariousness as well. The people that are prominent in your career perhaps and also with the dominant parent and authority figures at this time. Next thing up, Venus will be in Virgo as far as July goes from the 9th until the 31st. So the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time uh, for, uh, for, uh, for Scorpio, this could be about a time where if you are unattached Scorpio, you might meet a Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or simply one that embodies Virgo-like characteristics at a group, a club, or an organization. Uh, it could be a time where you might be valuing reticence and modesty amongst friends and acquaintances as well, and valuating, I'm sorry, valuing extrapolation of data for your future perhaps as well, and also maybe even spending uh, frugally on friends and acquaintances, enjoyment of analyzing goals and aspirations, and even the enjoyment of perhaps health-related activities with friends, such as working out uh, vigorously, uh, perhaps, and the enjoyment of, the, of perhaps things that are health-related might be tied into your future as well and something that you will consider maybe doing more as far as the future goes. So anyway, next thing up is, well, Mars will be uh, in Aquarius uh, in July, it will be a uh, retrograde. So the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time for Scorpio, this could be about a time for Scorpio where you might become somewhat angry at perhaps a idiosyncratic, bizarre, unusual behavior, uh, perhaps from a family member or someone you're simply close to home with. 
Uh, this could be where the situation with family members in general, maybe even the less dominant parent, which is often the mother, might be more acrimonious and contentious than usual. Also uh, uh, injecting a lot of selfless and humanitarian energy into home-related matters, doing things for people that you're close to home with. And also, too, given that uh, this is retrograde, you might be going back to maybe action related and things that you were injecting a lot of energy into that could be Aquarius related that you're close to home with. It could be astrology, astronomy, computers, electronics, innovation, uh, perhaps. And really too, this could be about maybe putting this energy, might be sporadic and erratic, maybe into establishing foundations. It could be into going in, uh, finding out more about your roots and your uh, traditions at this time as well. And remember that given that this is retrograde energy, it's important to be careful because a retrograde energy could be about self-inflicted uh, harm as opposed to directing things outwardly. And uh, you're talking about, um, I mean, Mars, of course, is the planet connected with anger. So, I mean, and Aquarius, of course, is unorthodox, unconventional energy. So it could be about someone you're close to home with, a family member might be inject, may, might be inflicting harm on oneself uh, and maybe in some bizarre or unorthodox manner. So it's important to look at this, at, be careful at this time. Anyway, next thing up is Jupiter will be in Scorpio still. So the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. It will be retrograde from the first until like the 10th. So at this time uh, for Scorpio, this could be about increased uh, surreptitious, uh, nefarious activity, maybe from someone you knew from your early childhood. There could be a greater propensity for weight gain at this time, especially if this is actually hitting your first house in your natal chart. So maybe it's, um, it might be important to maybe avoid the dark, rich foods at this time. You might come across on a first impression being more uh, jocular and jovial than usual, but with a lot of subtle, sarcastic, Scorpio-like humor. And also this could manifest in being more fortuitous perhaps for new Scorpio-like beginnings, such as something with the occult, astrology, supernatural, embalming, locksmithing, uh, investigation, something that could be Scorpio-related. Uh, and also, too, uh, the way this could manifest is about being maybe maybe given that it's going to be retrograde for like the, about the first third of the month, perhaps reviewing maybe your exuberance and enthusiasm over making uh, maybe a major or some kind of transformation with your physical body and your personality, uh, perhaps at this time in the, in the physical body, especially if this is actually hitting your actual first house in your natal chart. Anyway, next thing up is Saturn will be uh, in Capricorn still. It will be retrograde. The third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time for Scorpio, this could manifest perhaps in having uh, restrictions and limitations in connection with communications. Uh, this could be where you might be feeling a little bit more despondent and melancholy than usual, uh, given that this is the third house of rational uh, thinking, the rational mind. Uh, also, too, you might find yourself taking care of a debilitated or sickly a sibling, a cousin, a neighbor. It could be something Capricorn related. It might be causing you to feel somewhat despondent and melancholy. Uh, also too, it might be a time given that we're talking about retrograde energy with Saturn that you might be reviewing serious responsibilities uh, perhaps two neighbors, two siblings, two cousins at this time, maybe even to short journeys, and also, too, about reviewing fears that might be tied in maybe to short journeys or matters pertaining to your siblings, cousins, or neighbors uh, at this time as well. Next thing up is Uranus will be in Taurus, so the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Scorpio. So at this time for Scorpio, this could be about perhaps the formulation of new financial ideas, perhaps. Uh, it could um, 
perhaps may be connected with a business partnership or maybe be beneficial to a relationship you're in with a significant other. Also too, uh, this could be also about um, Taurus uh, friendships. Uh, at this time might lead you to uh, maybe a significant other might be beneficial to you finding a significant other if you are unattached it could they could be maybe beneficial to helping you in some kind of lawsuit issue or some kind of legal uh, matter also uh, you might find that maybe uh, maybe people you know in general might be exhibiting some kind of unusual stubborn obstinate uh, behavior perhaps there could be unanticipated lawsuits and uh, also too it could be where you might be uh, dealing with some kind of Uranus like open adversaries such as a strike could be astrologers people in astronomy innovation electronics computers perhaps and also the, in some cases the grandmother might be acting unpredictably and other seventh house people uh, as well uh, such as the significant other, others in general, um, open, I mean, really just anything that's seventh house related. You might even marry a foreigner at this time if you are unattached. Next thing up is Neptune will be uh, in Pisces still, so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, uh, for Scorpio, you could be, um, this could be a time where you might be dealing with more deceptive and duplicitous uh, children, um, could be a romantic partner, uh, somebody that figures prominently perhaps in a, in a hobby or thing of amusement you're doing, uh, you're involved in, and also the danger is perhaps deluding oneself in uh, speculative matters. This could be about the dissolving and dissipation of a love relationship at this time or maybe even where a child or romantic partner might become involved in kind of some kind of uh, recreational drug use or, or alcohol perhaps and these people might seem nebulous and unclear at this time this could be also about pursuing maybe unrealistic hobbies and things of enjoyment at this time and and at this time too you might become interested in a neptune like hobby such as poetry dancing something with um, maybe a thing of enjoyment like spirituality uh it's something with the metaphysical uh chemistry photography or even illusion special effects or even magic such as when i'm talking about magic i'm talking about like uh doing things like a magician does a uh, magic tricks so anyway next thing up is uh pluto will be in capricorn still so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted so at this time, I know a lot of you don't want me to say the dreaded D word, but you know I'm going to anyway. This could uh, reflect an actual uh, literal death of a cousin, a neighbor, a sibling, someone that's prominent in your short journeys. Uh, this could also, in some cases, uh, be about the maybe the obliteration, perhaps, of some kind of maybe connection in your neighborhood. Uh, it could be maybe a connection uh, with a sibling or a cousin or a neighbor, or maybe uh, in some cases, maybe um, communication even to some degree. It also could maybe manifest in the transformation of, uh, of some kind of, of the way maybe you're communicating. Maybe something happens with your voice where you're forced to talk in, in some other manner using some kind of device perhaps. Also, this could be about power struggles and control issues maybe with cousins with siblings with neighbors at this time and also you might be exhibiting in some cases more obsessive compulsive behavior more so uh, than usual in some cases and a lot of this depends of course on the aspects that this is uh, making to points in your natal chart remember third house is rational thinking Pluto is about obsessive compulsive uh, tendencies uh, so, uh, I mean, let's say if it's making an adverse aspect to your natal Neptune, I'm sorry, your natal Mercury, this might help accentuate maybe that possibility of that kind of behavior. Now, anyway, getting to um, one, uh, and also you could be where you might find yourself talking and communicating more about Pluto-like things, such as very dark and deep subjects. You might be more morbid in your communications, even talking more about the supernatural, the occult, things of an astrological 
uh, nature. Anyway, next thing up is uh, the North Node will be in Leo. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Scorpio. So at this time for Scorpio, uh, this could be when you're talking about the North Node in transit, uh, this could manifest perhaps in having to maybe confront or address issues. And this could be about confronting perhaps an arrogant, uh, domineering, bombastic, overbearing, uh, perhaps uh, dominant parent. It could be an authority figure, maybe even a mentor in some cases. And also about, uh, this could be a period where you feel directed toward receiving more attention and recognition for career-related matters, for the success you have in life. It may, may be from a dom, things you do for a dominant parent or an authority figure. This could be also about taking pride and having dignity in your public image, your reputation at this time, and also about expressing yourself in a more generous and magnanimous manner, perhaps toward a dominant parent. It could be toward a mentor or maybe even uh, an authority figure at this time as well, and maybe about extravagant issues regarding your career or maybe where you might have to spend a little bit more money than usual in matters connected with this and also in terms of uh, increasing your uh, public image and, and receiving notoriety perhaps. So anyway, well the next thing up is the Black Moon Lilith will be in Capricorn still. So the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Scorpio. So at this time for Scorpio, when you're talking about the Black Moon, although this could be about the revelation or unveiling of a formidable Capricorn adversary, it could be an actual Capricorn Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or one that simply embodies Capricorn characteristics, and it could be a sibling, a neighbor, a cousin, someone that's prominent in your short journeys. Uh, this could be about two. I mean, when you're talking about the Black Moon Loath, about the unveiling or, or revelation connected with yourself, that something comes out of the bag, so to speak, but you really, you but you don't want uh, out, but it comes out anyway. This could be about perhaps a very limiting and restricting, maybe um, your, your, your communications in general that might be very limiting or restricting, or maybe a connection uh, with a sibling or a neighbor at this time that might be very depressing. Uh, also too, this could be about in some cases where you might actually be using a uh, maybe a sibling or a neighbor maybe to help you attain some kind of career ambitions and improve your stature in life uh, at this time. So uh, also too, remember we're talking about the Black Moon Lilith. This could be about something that could put one in a strong state of trepidation or fear. And in this case, this could be uh, perhaps about maybe relinquishing uh, authority. Maybe you have in a, in a situation with a neighbor, with a cousin, uh, with a sibling, uh, perhaps, and maybe even just you, maybe matters somehow with communications in general. Uh, or some where people or someone that you communicate, I should say someone you communicate with on uh, on a regular uh, basis. So anyway, well, um, last but not least, uh, Chiron will still uh, be in Aries. So the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Scorpio. So at this time for Scorpio, uh, this could be, I mean, about actual physical Aries like wounds that might take place at work. It could be head or facial injuries uh, at this time. Uh, it could be about going through emotional suffering uh, through maybe possibly lack of initiative and in enterprise and work and health related matters, maybe not taking care of a physical problem soon enough or maybe something work related, contentious acrimonious experiences perhaps at your place of employment, could be somebody in your daily routine. Maybe it's been uh, something where an, a fellow employee might be coming a headache at this time. Even a pet might be coming a headache at this time as well. Aunts and uncles, it could be about contentious and acrimonious experiences uh, with them uh, as well, or somebody that just in your uh, daily routine uh, perhaps. But also, uh, remember though, uh, this is also about, when you're talking about Chiron and Aries, this could be about feelings of uh, unworthiness. And it might be where maybe you don't feel 
may be worthy of having a connection with the, with an aunt and uncle. It could be, or maybe you don't feel there's some unworthiness in your place in terms of employment. Like you don't, maybe you don't feel like you deserve uh, to be employed uh, for some reason uh, at this time. Uh, some cases it might just be due to maybe lack, maybe not finding work due to lack of aggression uh, and, and assertiveness at this time, and also not and just not capitalizing on opportunities for employment. But uh, remember that when we're talking about Chiron uh, in Aries and uh, the sixth house, it, you're really in areas that you're uh, struggling and suffering in connection with this. You could help others out uh, dealing with comparable situations and do so with a lot of areas like courage, fortitude, aggressiveness, assertiveness, and enterprise. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Scorpio July 2018 horoscope forecast. Stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Sagittarius July 2018 horoscope forecast. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.